Hello everypony, Blue Dot Red Dot here, and today is something completely different, and my computer just went to sleep mode. That extra light actually helps, and I'm going to zoom this out a little bit. Uh, oh, whatever. I'm doing something a little different. Don't mind the mess. I have tried to clean up my desk a little bit. I have pushed all the wiring underneath my monitor which is right there uh i'm doing this because i am heading to pax unplug at the end of the month and if you can hear it i'm a bit nasaled i am just getting over a cold that's why i haven't been recording anything i also was having problems with hearing because of an ear infection last, at the end of last month. Um, I think one led into the other one. So that's why I'm having issues. Hopefully get everything dealt with. But the main reason for this video is mainly, like I said, I'm heading to PAX East. Or PAX Unplugged, my bad. If I keep saying PAX, Un PAX East, it says... Note that I'm an idiot and I will keep repeating myself. Yeah, the reason why I'm making this video is this. If you don't know what those are, these are all <laughs> trading cards. So, what do I have? I have a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! I have a uh, Phantom Hypernova. I think that says Phantom. Yeah, Phantom Hypernova. Cyberstorm Access. A pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards from from Dollar General, I think, or Walmart. I don't know. I just I bought this because it's guaranteed one rare card. Um, no guarantee. That's going to be that. But whatever. We'll find out. Age of Overlord. Battle of Legends. And. Duel, Duelist Nexus. So that's what I have for. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And don't mind the camera stand. Because that's not where the phone is connected. That is the light. The phone is technically hooked up to my microphone stand that I use when I'm recording. This setup is uh, it's a bit funky. I'm slipping my hands underneath my camera on my microphone stand, which my camera's connected to, and I'm trying to grab stuff and without moving the camera. So I got all those to open. Oh, Oh, there's another Yu-Gi-Oh card there. I have... And I pushed them way too far out of my reach. I have a single pack of One Piece to open. Why? Because if I got three favorite characters in this show. And if I can get one of them, I call this success. I also need to find a starter pack or starter box that has the rule sets for this game because I like to learn how to play it even though I might never ever play it I have two Digimon because I'm trying to get into this card game but finding the packs have been difficult and then I got a bunch of uh, Pokemon Everyone likes Pokemon. Let's see. So I got uh, Violet and Silver. Or Scarlet and Violet. Holy crap, I'm. Uh, Paradox Rift. Another Paradox Riff, another Paradox Riff. I have Sword and Shield, Silver, Silver Tempest, another Silver Tempest, 
And I got this one because Jeremy Dooley, that used to be part of Achievement Hunter, says this is his favorite card, card pack to open. It's Obsidian Flames. We'll see if this... And if you... Do, I just seen it. Yeah, that. That's yeah, going to be a difficult. So, why don't we start with the one and only pack I have of One Piece? Well, I didn't notice that before. But I really like the art style. Whoopsie. Look at that. That might not be from the manga style of art, but uh, that is some type of art. That looks amazing. Even though Willie Law's using his uh, clothes he wears in Punk Hazard, and Luffy is wearing his pre time skip clothing. Weird. I don't know nothing about this card pack, so. I'm going to have a lot of mess. Oh, wow. They even got an easy rip. Okay. So it's the same. Okay. Oops. And I think I just hit my microphone stand. Or my camera mount. Holy crap. The glue they use. Sheesh. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! The duck from Alabast. Uh, uh, even though the name's there, I don't remember what it's called. Xin Chao? Tom? <laughs> the Kung Fu Jung. Mr. Three, or Mr. Thirteen and Miss Friday. Weird. <gasps> Nami. An Alabasta Nami, too. Nice. One with... Choose how they die. <laughs> I think that's one of his most... Iconic lines from that series. The Duck Patrol. Oops. Are you serious? This guy from a filler? He's here? Ooh, Rebecca. Ooh, that, that looks nice. We'll put that over. I like the truck. Duck Troopers, that's what I'm putting over there. Putting Rebecca over there. <laughs> I, I like him because he reminds me of an old, like an old-fashioned New Yorker. That's why I like him. I'll just put him there. And, eh, it's Sanji when he kicked the alligator. But uh, I don't know nothing about this card pack, so I don't know if I got anything good. Probably. Tom's not a bad card. I might hang that up. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a card set, I guess. I didn't see the back. Oh, ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, and a red one. Why? Why is Rebecca red? Well, she, it is. It does have a different co color style than all the others too. I don't know. It has to have something to do with the game. We'll just put that over there and out of the way. Uh, let's move on to Digimon. Ooh, this one also has this. Is this something new? Do all of them have it? I'm so used to this. This style stuff. 
for so long. Well, that didn't work out at all, did it? Now, I understand some of this. I still don't understand what is good and what is bad. But I understand... I have... Somewhat understanding of how the... Cards go. So, let's see. We have... Whatever the hell that is. Probably should have done this last time. There we go. Sorry, I might have had it too blurry. I meant to zoom in for the cards. We have this. We have that. I don't know none of the new Digimon. I haven't watched since Digimon Frontier. Ooh, I know who that is. Ooh. That has to do something, because that is something new, because I don't know what... I just know Greymon. I don't know what the... You know Greymon? I think I've seen this in the show before. I think I've seen this guy. Oh, that's from, uh, Data Squad, isn't it? Ooh, fancy. Uh, Alright, sorry, I had to blow my nose. It's getting hard to speak. Uh, yeah. Got another one of those. Ooh, a Lima. Got another one of those. Got another one of these. That. Ooh. What is on his head? I thought it was a unicorn, but it's not. It's, it looks like a dog with two horns. Interesting. Huh. Ooh. Now, that looks quite fierce. Aw, puppy dogs. Ah, oh, Burger Mom. Neat. I will do a follow-up video after this. Once I get um, all these cards reorganized. And put, uh, put in home my uh, folder of all the cards. Now I'm just going to put them away in my little handy card thing. Uh, th these are from earlier this summer. I went and bought some new cards, so. Yeah, I'm just going to put that over there. Okay, let's do Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's do these packs first, since they're going to be the most annoying. I gonna have to back my arms up to open them. And all my trash is going over there. Let's just zoom out. It'll be more blurry, but you'll be able to see more. Oh come on. Paper doesn't want to rip. Stay the fuck over there. Okay. Uh, 
Let's just start with this because it says we're guaranteed one rare card. Let's see. And of course the rare one is right here. Right at the bottom. It's a dragon shield. Uh, equipped only to dragon type monsters. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Neither player can take in any battle damage from attacks involving it. Okay. What the hell is this? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a real card because it has the sticker. A skill card? I think I've heard of these, but I've never seen one. Interesting. Call the Haunted. Ooh. Interesting. I like this because it's a throwback to... Uh, Damn it, what's the card? I can't remember the name of the card, but it's a throwback to that look from the original Yu-Yu cards. Fusion tag? Huh. I'm not going to sit here and read them all, because that's just too much effort. I've seen some of these when I was playing uh, on the Yu Yu game. Uh, what was it, Master Duels? <gasps> Ooh, I have a deck on Master Duels with this. With the uh, Skull Servant deck. That's cool. I can. I have the starter of it. Because, uh,. With this, you got a Skull Servant. One of the, each, each of these cards, when they get sent to the graveyard, they're considered a Skull Servant while well, in the graveyard. Then you should got the Skull Servant King. For every one of these in the graveyard, that's well, every one Skull Servant in the graveyard, it gains one, uh, 1,000 attack. Yeah, so you can get... If you do the cards right, you can dump a shit ton of these into your graveyard and put out the Skull King with over 10,000 attack with ease on the first turn as you play it right. Link Apple? <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, now that's a scary photo. Look at that. Nothing I really care about besides that. Oh, uh, what is that? Waiting of yeah, wait. Okay, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Because with my cold, I am having difficult pronouncing certain names. Ooh, a nice synchro monster. Not bad. Core, core of chaos. Ooh. Hello, what are you? Let me guess the Shriken Dragon. It's a fusion monster. Nice. Uh, Synchro. Pendulum monster. Nope. Bad of a selection. 
I have to look at that fusion dragon. It was a dragon type, wasn't it? Uh, uh, no. It's a winged beast. Weird. Okay. Sorry, I'm just moving my arms back. It, it hurts. I'm leaning my arms right up against the edge of my desk. Right off the camera. And it's starting to hurt the side of my arm. Alright. Sea Dragon. Ooh, hello. Ooh, it's a dragon type. Okay, I know. Okay, it's a... I know this. I know this set. Well, I was trying to look at it. Alright, I'm just going to quickly pull these over here, whoopsie, I'm just going to pull these over here, let you watch the trash fly over there, while I quickly go ahead and rip these open. Holy crap, what the hell, what type of glue do they use? Keep them both in the same lineup. Get the puck back over there. Okay, so these are all of the Duelist Nexus. Some stuff's already opening this one. <sighs> Battle of Battleist of Legends. Which had a little plant creature of some kind. And I think my light is dying. Legends, and that's the Age of Overlord. All right, so let's look at the dual Nexus cards. Whoopsie. Let's zoom in. Oh, that's cute. New world format. Ooh. Now that looks fucking cool. 
I say uh, X Y Z. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. ooh. I don't know if this is a full holographic or not. Um, because the... I know the name, the stars and stuff, but the entire card is a holographic. Even, even this piece up here is shiny. I might put that aside. Huh. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. <laughs> That's all that card reminded me of. Ooh, another nice synchro monster. Another one. <laughs> Okay. You know what that monster reminded me of? It almost reminded me of the way the wings look. Uh, the Falcon Zord from Mighty Morphers. The White Power Ranger. Those are those cards. I'm going to keep those separate. I forget which one these are from. Well, shit. Oh, well. Uh, I forget. Interesting. Shiny is right at the bottom. I really like that. That looks cool. It's like some type of aura around the snake. Are they all? Oh, there's only. Th okay. Um, this must be from the legend. see what I got then I got this nice reptile no I got a Karibo of some kind never seen this Karibo before Ooh, look how menacing that dragon looks I don't know how well this is coming over Funny enough, when I bought this, this came as a Christmas bundle gift that was just filled from front to back with, uh, I think with Yu-Gi-Oh card packs like these. It was just filled like this from front to back. And I had two shinies on the front just to make you buy them. As far as I remember... All the cards were shit in the packs. Besides for the two shinies up front, which I don't remember what they even were. Okay. Ooh. 
even though this has that Pokemon, which I forget its name, um, too many names to remember, but I know it's from the second generation. That is a very cool Charizard, but, uh, that is one of the new forms for the, uh, Scarlet and Violet, which I don't really know much about. Uh, Silver Tempest, Rift, Rift, and... Okay. Really, off the packs don't have what the outside are. <laughs> so, this one, the Lugia, has the. Uh, oh, Alolan Ninetales? The Dragon, whatever thing I forget what it, Reggie Dragon Reggie or, or, I, don't, I don't remember what exactly it's called I, I know it was interesting and I wanted to look it up oopsie I'm not zoomed out so that one had that one this one had that one weird how I ended up with uh, that If you have the art, why can't you put this in the art box it goes in? That much, is that too hard to ask the robots that pack these to do that? Alright. Yeah. Almost dropped it. Ha uh, matching and that. Okay. I'm going to leave that one for last. That one will go there. And we're up on these three first. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. I know these all have the stupid code to do, but I'm not going to show them because It's too easy for someone just to rip them off. Just go down. And you never know, I might make a video, so I might want them. I don't even know if they have an expired date on them. Let's see. Um, I don't see an expiration date, so... Um, so this is going to stay over here, out of the way. Now... Forgive me, I do not know how the Pokemon cards thing work. I know there's a way to where you can grab the certain ones. Grab it like that, slip it underneath, and then keep the rares in the back. But, ah, uh, fuck it. A Gygar. Gligar. The bug. Ooh. Ooh, starter. 
Eh, that's cool. Another sword. Ooh. I only do what I'm putting in the start over here because I separate them out and when I'm doing my card things. The hell? Wait, does a legendary start out? Does it have a base form? Interesting. I don't know much about uh, Skylar. Scarlet and Violet. Ooh. Oh. I forgot to zoom in. Look at that. I will say, Pokemon has some of the most unique shiny cards ever. Oop. Tried to slip out there. Tried to hide. Now, I did see a couple of these that were actually shiny. Yeah. See, see, Pokemon has uh, three different types of shinies, which is hard. Well, maybe four. There's this where it's just the border and the picture. Then you got this where it's the entire damn thing. Then there's ones where the entire including the border it's all it's borderless and it's just absolute shiny then you got this one where there is borders and everything shiny except the name part got ones like this where the background is shiny so I don't understand what's the difference between all of them so I'm just gonna set that like that Let's grab this Tempest and open up. This video is actually taking forever. Who knew a bunch of card packs would take an hour to open up? Maybe it would be recording, maybe. Wait, which card pack? Oh. I don't say it was. I pulled out of the trash. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's check out. You know, I really do like this crocodile. Alligator, actually. Starter. Hey, I got the evolved form. Angie. Angie. Ooh. Another one from my collection. I almost have the entire evolutionary line. I think I need two more in shiny. And I have the entire evolutionary line in shiny. In some type of shiny form. And that's it. No oh, deep shinies? Damn, I feel ripped. Let's try.
try Scarlet and Violet. And then we'll try Jeremy Dooley's favorite. And then I can end it. And go to bed. And I need sleep. Well, technically, I just, uh, right before I started recording, I, uh, went ahead and took some NyQuil. So by the time I was ending, uh, uh, it would be ready for bed. Some type of NG, I'm just going to put that there. Not a good shiny, but it's a shiny nonetheless. And now the last pack. Then I will cut it out of the video, but I will go ahead and zoom the camera out. And I will place every single shiny card from all what I just opened here. So we can uh, see all, all the good cards all at once. Let's see. Ooh, the berry of old pigs. Ooh. Okay, I've been wanting to get this because uh, I like. Uh, my mind is drawing a blank now, but I like what it evolves into. And I like having the combination of having. That and Mudkip uh, Swamper. The evolved form of this and Swamper on the same team because they can work in unison to help each other. What are you? That is an interesting looking Pokemon. I think that's from the new one. So, uh, give me a minute. So, this is all the shiny cards we got. We got these three from Digimon. Out of all of them, I only know this one. I only know Bergamon from the first season. The rest of them, I have no idea who they are or what they do. So, yeah. For the One Piece, I have Beji and Sanji kicking the alligator. Or banana croc. For Yu Gi Oh! I have a bunch. Well, I don't know why that's in there. I made a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. That should have been in there. Okay. That's just all these nice shiny cards. Out of all of them, I could have this one of my best ones. 
But I already see a problem with it. It's very hard to tell, but there's like a thin line straight through the glitter. And I don't think that's from me. I think that's from factory. Because it looked like the glitter got put on and another card got shoved like this. Because this is a nice straight line. It goes straight across the entire card. So, I don't have protective sleeves, but I'll make sure to put it away as soon as possible. I got a shit ton of Pokemon. Holy shit. <laughs> the ones I didn't notice. Is I have this. And I have this. The, the background is the only thing shiny about it. It's probably hard to tell. So, I do believe I have the final form in a full legendary form, or a full shiny in my uh, case. But, this is a good haul, if I do say it so myself. Several months of buying cards, and uh, it's worth it, I guess. But the one thing I'm happy about, I'm done. And I can uh, deal with this in the morning. Well, I edit this video tomorrow if I don't feel like crap. Let's see about putting out uh, next Monday as a little extra video. Alright, I have been Blue Dot Red Devil, and these are my cards. And these all the cards and just like I said that is my pile of card card wrappings and a bunch of soda cans and a NyQuil all right I have been blue devil red devil and I will see you all in hell have a good night.